Here we can see the layout window. The gallery allows you to choose icons and objects to build models. The properties dialog is available when you double click an object. The simulation menu allows you to run the model in simulation mode and the toolbox allows you to join objects together. In this Jumpstart tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate the model that's shown on screen. We'll be adding the phone calls and also the activities within the process. The resources will also be added too. Now we're going to define the process flow. We're going to recreate this model together. So I'm just going to say File, New Process and we're going to build this model from scratch. The first thing we're going to do is go over to the gallery. We'll click on the call icon and place it on our layout space. We're then going to choose one of the icons and we're going to rename this Hard Call. If you ever want to rename an item, you simply select it by clicking on it and then just type directly on the object on screen. We now need a process box. And what I'm going to do here is click on top of the call and drag to the right. I'm holding down the mouse button. And by holding down, you can actually see that it's created a double headed arrow. And we call this an actual arrivals pattern. And if you double click, you can in fact choose the different types of arrival of the work items. I'm now going to add another activity and the last one. And I can simply join that here. So here we have the calls, hard call and three activity boxes. I select the first activity and I simply change the name to take call. The second perform research and on the third one I'm going to call this return call once I've done that I'm now in just a moment going to add the resources once we have the actual process flow defined we are now going to define the resources. In other words, we're going to add the resources that do the work within this process. And we can do this fairly quickly. I'm selecting a resource. The resource has now been dropped onto the layout. Another resource is added. I'm going to select the resource and rename and I'll call this resource Support 1 and this one Support 2. Now once we have the resources added, we have to then assign them to the activities that they're working within. In this case, I'm going to select the Connector tool. I'm going to click on Support 1 and then drag down to the take call activity. You can see now that we have a circle at each end and we have this dashed line. I'm going to do the same again for support 2. And support 2 is actually having to deal with two activities. They perform research and then they're also having to return the call. So we have now assigned the resources to the appropriate activities. Now that the resources have been entered, we are now going to enter the process information and you can see that I've added some text labels simply to describe the information that's going to be entered. Now let's start from the left of the screen and then working to the right hand side. We'll first start 
with the double-headed arrow, which signifies an arrivals pattern. If we double-click the arrivals pattern, you can see that you now require to enter the repeat every value to five minutes. So the first time when the simulation begins, a call will be arriving immediately at zero time as soon as the simulation begins, and then subsequently one call every five minutes. Now, 75% of the calls are answered at this activity by support one, and then they simply exit. The call is finished. So if we double click the routing arrow here, you should change the value to 75%. Change this value to 75%. Once this value has been changed, we will go to the activity called Take Call. Make sure the capacity is set to 1 and the time, the processing time, should be 2 minutes. Then move to the routing line which leaves Take Call and we can see that 25% of the calls are then routed to perform research. And if we double click this, you should see that the value has already changed to 25% because you had changed this value to 75. You will require to change the new name to Hard Call. You should use the drop down menu and simply choose the value Hard Call, the name of the other object here on the screen. Once that has been done, go to Perform Research and you can see that I've given it a capacity of 10 and a time of 20 minutes. So change those values for capacity to 10 and for minutes to 20. This routing arrow will just simply be 100%, so all calls would then go on to be returned. And in this here, the return call activity, capacity 1, time 3 minutes, so change those values. If we go to the Support 1 resource, we can actually go into the Cost tab and assign a cost of 12 per hour. Go into the Support 2 and assign a cost of 20 per hour. That's now all the information that you require, and in just a moment we're going to simulate the model. To simulate the model, we simply choose Simulation and Save and Simulate from the top menu. If it prompts you for a file name, if you're prompted for a file name, then just type in Jump Start and run the model. The model will then begin loading. It will then run in simulation mode and then the animation will begin. In the top left corner, you can see the scoreboard, which contains information about the calls being processed. We can see at the moment that there are several calls with a cycle time of three minutes. That's the time from start to completion. The value adding time, where it's actually being worked on within this first process, which is called take call, and the actual cost of the unit. We use activity-based costing. We can also now see that the telephone symbol is changing into hard call once the actual call is routed to the back desk for research and for the call to be returned. If you look above the resource icons, you can also see the colors change. The colors for the resources change to green when they're busy working and the lights are colored blue when the resource is idle. There's no work for the resource to do. In order to accelerate the model, to run the model quickly, you can simply turn animation off and this will fast forward to the statistical results and the graphics. We can say yes to see the results 
And this then brings up all the statistics that we may need on the activities, the actual resources, and we can choose any of the graphics we wish to have a quick look at. We can see here there's an imbalance between the resources, support 1 and support 2, because of the time taken in the activities for support 2, and the number of tasks assigned. And if you want to click on one of the bars here, it will then produce a pie chart. We can also have a look at a unique feature within Process Model, and that's to look at the Output Summary. We choose View from the top toolbar, Output Summary, and we can then identify the areas that we should start to improve by choosing the Hotspot Evaluator, selecting the chart, and we can see clearly that the highest amount of non-value adding time is actually at this return call activity. And this will be the queue, the actual size of the queue, as the calls are simply stacked up, waiting to be dealt with within the return call activity. So by actually assigning our efforts to this area, we could reduce the highest amount of non-value adding time. We can also look at the resource costs as well. And this shows us how much money is being spent on the resources and perhaps when they're not being used wisely. I hope this summary has been helpful.